I'm really hesitant about this. I need to just, <laughs> just, I'm so scary. Stop. What's up, God's favorite family? I'm so happy you made it back to the channel because today would not have been the same without you. All of you. Um, hey, y'all. <laughs> So, uh, the last few days, I've been thinking about doing a particular video. Um, it's kind of like the one that I did before, I think it was called Important Information, where I was just like talking about something that was weighing heavy on my heart. Um, just another like message video. So, this that's what this video is going to be. It's like a message. Um, it's just me unpacking thoughts that I have like during the week I have like random thoughts and sometimes they're deeper thoughts that need to be unpacked and these videos actually help me quite a bit to just talk it out um things that I would usually say aloud and I was you I was like kind of nervous and I'm still like kind of like on the edge a little bit about recording this video because I don't want it to be um taken in the wrong way as an attack um so let me just say say that at the beginning i don't want you to feel attacked if you feel like or if you realize that you um may fall into the category that i'm going to talk about it's not an attack on you um let me be the first one to say i'm not perfect i have things that i am constantly growing in i'm i'm growing every day and that's okay that's okay for us to be growing um, and if you realize that you are, um, that you may be doing some of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video, that just means that you're aware of yourself and that you're not so far in the clouds that you just think you're the most, most perfect human being walking on this earth. Um, this, is, this topic is kind of sensitive to me. Um, like it matters a lot to me. It's something that I think about a lot. Um, and it matters to the people that I've talked to and had conversations with. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I'm not neglecting, um, the subject just because I'm, because, because I don't want to be uncomfortable and because I don't want to seem like, um, like the bad guy or something like that. And again, it's not, I'm probably thinking way too much into it. I'm not, um, this isn't an attack on anyone. I just need to say this. Um, and the last few days have made that kind of clear that I need to say this. I've been kind of praying about it and thinking about it. Should I actually record the video? I was going to record the video yesterday and I decided not to. Um, but today it was still on my heart and on my mind. And this morning I kind of took it as a sign of... Uh, usually the way that the Lord speaks to me is through um, music. A lot a lot of the times it's through music. That's why I'm like always dancing. It's like music is my channel, I guess. But um, a song played this morning and it was like the exact topic of this video. It's called Perfect People by The Walls Group. They're a family group. It's called Perfect People. And basically, basically the concept of the song, it's a message to believers, a message to Christians. Um, not to, not to mis make the mistake of feeling like you're above anyone else or making the mistake that you are like that you have it all together basically that's what it's about um so yeah that's kind of the topic of this video i just wanted to talk about that subject and kind of unpack the thoughts that i that i have on the subject maybe this video will reach either the person who has felt the consequences of the perfect person mentality or maybe it's going to be it's going to be a wake-up call to other believers who may have been um who may have acted in a way that made them seem like they were perfect to people outside of outside of the church and um just people you know um i grew up in a church and i grew up around people who were just honest about who they were. They were transparent. They were unafraid to talk about how they were growing and how they were imperfect. 
so i grew up around that so maybe that's why i have a little bit of a different mentality when it comes to this and it makes me more sensitive i think to the topic and when it comes up just in the like in my daily life i'm more sensitive to it like i pay attention to it and it bothers me um um <laughs> it bothers me like to the core when i see or feel the rejection almost that that mentality can give off to other people um we live in a world where and i'm not going to say all christians because i don't i don't want to generalize christian i'm a christian myself so I know that there's other Christians, other believers who have the same thought process that I'm having right now. So it's 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 like a big a big percentage of churched people. Um, these are people who probably grew up in the church or who've been in church for a long time. A big percentage of those people, um, they're kind of closed-minded in a way that keeps them from. Uh, interacting and connecting with people who don't haven't grown up the same way that we have grown up or with people who may have and that's the thing y'all like the biggest issue that I have with this perfect person this perfect Christian mentality I'm a Christian so I'm perfect I don't have to grow there's nothing that I need I can't um learn anything from anyone in anyone else I can't be bothered with anyone else the 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 biggest issue with that is I feel like and I feel like the scripture backs me up in this your biggest responsibility as a Christian as a believer is to share the love of Christ is to share the love of God is to be transparent and show people outside of the church that you don't have to be perfect because you're not perfect. I'm not perfect none of us are perfect if we think of the possibilities if we open up our lives to people in general and show show them how man I'm weak in this area man I'm weak in that area man I wish I could I'm still growing in this area it's people outside of the church who think that they can't um, get saved or they think they can't reach Jesus because they are struggling with this 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 and this that's insane to me and it's not it's something that something that is um, encouraged almost because by by us by the people in the church because we won't open up our lives we won't be transparent we won't tell them man there you you can do it if i'm if i'm here if god accepted me of course he'll accept you man i've i've been through all of these things i've had the worst past i've done so many wrong things i've done so many bad things i'm not perfect i'm just saved i'm just covered in the blood of christ you're not perfect what if we told people and opened up our lives in a way that showed them um that they they could still reach Jesus even if they're struggling, even if they're um, even if they're struggling with a sin, even if they're struggling with a bad habit, that they could still reach Jesus because we are too. We are too. And then there's other people who outside of the church who know that all of us aren't perfect, but they're so turned off and they're so turned away because when they enter into a church, <laughs> and they talk to Christians and they talk to believers and regular conversation and have try to have a conversation with them or try to connect with them in some way or just be themselves around them they get judged they get almost attacked and abused by believers by Christians by people who are supposed to be spreading the love of Christ they get attacked in a way that makes them it just turns them away and I don't blame them I don't blame them who would want to be around a group of people take take your mind off of what church is supposed to represent and come into reality 
and again i'm not gonna make that a blanket statement about all churches because there are wonderful churches and i know this for myself there are wonderful churches all around the world that are doing amazing things and really spreading the love of christ and spreading the gospel of christ of christ in the right way but what if you were um someone who knew that they were struggling who was open and and vulnerable around um, a group of people maybe for the first time and you were just trying to open up and be yourself and looking for help what if you came into a group of people this building with a group of people and when you got into the place because of how you dress because of how you talk because you have tattoos or piercings you were looked at in a way that um almost as someone who was under like under them or you you felt the judgment or you heard the judgment because sometimes <laughs> we have the nerve to speak to people in a way that that just da downgrades their whole entire being that upsets me so much and maybe I've been feeling this way because somebody needs to hear from a Christian from a believer from someone who's been raised in the church that that is not right and I see you, I feel you, I understand. I know that you're growing, I'm growing too. I know that you're not perfect, I'm not perfect either. I know that you understand that um, there's a greater thing out there and you wanna get connected and you, you're desiring to get connected to that greater being, to get connected to Jesus, but you're so, you've been hurt by people, you've been, judged you've been neglected you've been ignored you've been turned away by perfect christians and that's going to remain in air quotes because none of us are perfect if that's you out there and it's you that i'm feeling i hope that you hear this message you don't have to say a word to me you don't have to comment you don't have to message me in my inbox you don't have to do anything if that's you and you're looking at this video and this video has been on my heart and my mind because you needed to see it it's worth it i'm not perfect you'll never be perfect i'll never be perfect but jesus loves you <laughs> jesus loves you just as much as he loves anybody else i don't care who that anybody is the pastor the deacons the motherboard the people who go to church every sunday he loves you just as much as anybody else. Y'all, if we think about it, <laughs> how insane is it that we act in a way <sighs> that is totally opposite from Jesus? And I'm talking to believers now. If you're a Christian, if you're a believer, if you read the word of God, if you, if you know who Jesus is and who he was when he was here on this earth, how is it, how insane is it that we act in a way that's totally opposite of who he was think about it Jesus Jesus walked with thieves he walked with liars he walked with murderers he walked with people who betrayed him he walked with prostitutes come on man really and you think that you're too good you're too perfect you're too clean to get out into the world and just I don't understand that. I don't understand the logic of it. And it's bothered me for so long. There's somebody out here who it bothers y'all. It bothers me too. And listen, I, and this is not me trying to put myself up on a pedestal. And I don't even know if I want to say, I'm, <laughs> listen, I've never drank a day in my life. I've never smoked any drugs, used any drugs a day in my life, even cigarettes. I don't lie. I'm not a cheater. I don't, I don't um, backstab people. I try to do the right thing at all times. I'm a faster. I pray. I study the word. I'm abstinent. That's what this ring is. I, I do a lot of things because I 
I love God so much and I understand the love of God so much and I've been given the grace of God, the love of God so much that it makes me, it drives me to abstain from things, from desires. It, it drives me to try to be the best person I can be, not perfect. It drives me to be the best person that I can be because I know what the, the power of the love of God is so much greater than someone pointing their finger, someone criticizing at every moment. The power of the love of God is, it's amazing. And that's our only responsibility is to be transparent in a way that people, the world can see and actually understand the love of God. So why do we, as Christians, as believers, why do we, why do we deny people that? I don't understand. And again, I want, it's just that I'm passionate about it. It's not that I'm trying to attack my fellow Christians, my fellow believers. Cause like I'm saying, and like I've said, I'm always, I'm not perfect. I'm growing, I'm learning new things, but it, we have to get to a point. I'm not saying be, be in the world and do the, what the world is doing, but don't be so clean and so high and mighty that you can't connect with people who may have never heard about the gospel of Christ, who don't, who've never felt the love of Christ that drives you to, to try to be pleasing to him. Don't, it's people out here hurting. Y'all, I've had so many conversations with people who are actually out here hurting. And they can't get the healing that they need because, because Christians, because believers are too thrown off by how they look, by how they dress, by how they talk. You don't under... Take the time to get to know people. Put yourself in, we're supposed to be like Christ, right? If we're supposed to be like Christ, he took the time to understand people. He took the time to look into people's hearts. He took the time to address their needs before he asked anything of them. And he took the time to love people, to care about people. That's the biggest message of this video, y'all. And I hope you can actually hear my heart. Um, I've been I've been scared to do this not yeah, scared to do this video, nervous about doing this video because I didn't want it to be taken in the wrong way. It's not a t an attack. It's not it's not me trying to put myself up on a pedestal because I'm not on a pedestal. It's just me pleading with other believers, pleading with other Christians. Please take the time to love people, to understand where they're coming from, to have a conversation with people. It's not going to cause you to um, fall into sin. It's not going to cause you to be, I don't know, what, what do people think are thinking it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to them if they have a conversation with people. I don't know. <laughs> God loves people. If you do it, you're doing the work of God. Just look at it, y'all. Just look at it. And, um... Like I said, if you're one of the people who've been hurt or you're afraid to reach out to, to um, the church or I don't know, you just feel hesitant about it because you're afraid of how people will receive you or accept you, I hear you, I see you, and I want you to feel this love that I felt. <laughs> it's a gift and it's available to you too. If nobody else has told you, it's available to you too. You too, not just us, you too. <laughs> I think that's everything that I wanted to say. Um, it's, it's been really weighing on my heart and my mind the last few days and I needed to say something. I needed to record this video. I needed to unpack some of these thoughts, but I hope that in me doing all of that, that it reached someone who really needed this message. Um, whew. I love y'all. Like, I really love y'all. And I want you to feel that love. I love y'all. And it makes me brave enough to address certain issues that I may have thought about but never outright spoken about. So I love y'all that much. Uh, I hope that you understand that and that you feel that. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you. God loves you. I love you. 
and there are people out there who's willing to love you and take time to understand who you are as a person first thank you for watching this video again please like comment subscribe to this channel um let me know if there's any other topics or questions that you guys want to hear me talk about um you just want to get my thoughts or ideas about certain topics if that if that is the case comment them down below if you got anything anything from this video comment down below um just thank you for being thank you for being you i appreciate you you are purposed you are loved you are blessed you are held in the highest esteem by christ i love you 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 i love you, I love you. <laughs> peace and